Okay, welcome back to the camping room. Another Black Mountain adventure. Happy New Gear Day. Yes, very excited for this one. Um, very impressed at how quickly it came. I wasn't stung too much with the import duty as well. I was expecting to pay a little bit more than that. But do you know what it is? Yes, you probably do. In here should be the Henry Shires Scarp Tent 1, the 2022 version. So, amongst all the other stuff I've got going on today, Let's get this out the box, show you what the contents are, and get it pitched in the camping room. Da, da, da. Yeah, sod that, let's get it open. All right, I can always find my little, my uh, Leatherman, so I have to go very steady. have the Eastern crossover poles. So cross that looks just like one. There is the other set. They are very nice. And then Oh, that is super light. So, I remember back in the day when um, kayaking, and I do kayaking gear reviews, everybody would say to me, Lee, nobody is interested in the stats or specs or anything like that. They just want to see the kayak or the paddle or the new dry suit or whatever being used. Okay. Declaration statement as well, certified that the information on the invoice is true and correct and the contents and value of the shipment are as stated. Three copies. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Right, so yeah, <laughs> not much to show you there. Let's get it out of this bag. Okay, so I went for the scarp one. I went for it seam sealed in the factory. Um, I've gone for the solid or semi-solid in a mesh, uh, in a tent and the crossover poles as you see. So, first opening. Yeah, it smells like... Smells like... My old North Face used to smell. Very clean and... Crisp smell. Sticker for the table. My little table. I go good. Um, scarp one. Solid inner. Seam. Ah, this is the seam sealed service. There we are. Excellent. Let's get it rolled out. You can actually see and feel. Where it's being seam sealed. Yeah, fair play, they do a cracking job. Crossover pole and pegs. One, two, three, four, five, six, Eastern, nine inch carbon stakes. 
Um, I've already got four of these that I purchased myself. So they all go along good. Now, I was, I was cheeky. Now, whether whether this actually comes off or not, I don't know, but um, I was a bit cheeky and I did ask uh, the Henry Shires team if they would provide me with the extra guidelines needed um, and if they could attach them. So let's have a look. That is lush. Very happy boy. Ah, as you can see straight away. Um, ah, there, there's no guidelines on the side that I did uh, cheekily ask for. Never mind. Right, let's get this thing set up. So I have four of my little velcro patches that you can just on the floor to allow me to pitch it let's do this What are you thinking? So it's up. Not the best pitch indoors, but just for using these little Velcro things, it's okay. Gives you an idea of what's going on, doesn't it? And the size of it. It looks beautiful. It feels fantastic. I like it, I like it a lot. There's a crack is with these. Very, very well seam sealed. Oh, stickage. That's kind of normal though, isn't it? Oh, it feels like the zip is seamed. Oh, they've no, they've sealed here, obviously. Okay, for those that didn't know, like I didn't know really when I was looking to purchase this, it is a updated model, um, which has a few extra features, like the uh, the extra guideline loops. I go all the way over now. Um, somebody said that is for taking uh, an extra crossover pole if needed. Um, suppose it could be used as, obviously these, I think, as uh, I've seen on other channels, uh, people use them as guy out points, but I suppose you could use that as another guy out point or something to come back this way or, um, yeah. Let's get a look inside. Okay, first time opening it up. <laughs> I like it. Oh, that apparently was an improvement with the, the door tie back toggle system rather than some, I don't know, I think they said wanky velcro or something. But that ties back perfect. Very, very well. And as you can see, it's kind of like in its stretched out kind of state. 
so I have no idea how that works. Just like that. So yeah, with it kind of straight down the side, you can see you've got a good foot and a half or something like that of uh, porch area. And I'm assuming it's going to be the same on to the side. Let's have a look. Nice, very nice. And same crap again, just slide it back. Ah, two huge vestibules, porches, whatever you want to call them. Yes, very, very impressed. Uh, Semi-solid in there. This fabric is very, very light to mine. Oh, and they've done the things on the floor. Oh, that's quite cool. Okay, so you just get a bit of bungee cord for this. I'll probably put a little a little toggle on it to be honest but yeah that's what it's looking like inside it's big it's a lot bigger than the acto okay let's get in it's huge huge i say oh i like this it's done the floor in as well Stop the your sleeping pad shifting around. This is fab. <laughs> okay, I can see that the inner is quite close to the outer, but like I said, look, I've only got this pitched with the Velcro things on the floor, so there's hardly any tension in it at all at the minute but we'll soon see what happens now when i stick the old uh cross all the poles on but uh let's have a quick look around so we've got these super duper sock uh, pockets now yeah a lot of room in there and a bigger one on the side same over there okay nothing down that end but, I don't know, so, uh, something I was thinking about is, what end would you sleep? What end, well, obviously it doesn't really matter, does it? But, I don't know, I prefer to be able to, I don't know, kind of do stuff. So, I'd, I think I'd sooner be this side. So, you've got, like, the, um, so you've the you're on the open part of the, like, J-door um, zip thing. But, uh, oh, first impressions, this is looking wicked. Very impressed. It's so flipping light. And it's huge. That's a bit stiff, but... the size of it <laughs> it's a palace and the headroom i don't know i'm only i'm only a short ass but jesus i got a i got a good whatever flipping half a foot easy no likes there but 
I'm loving it. Right, crossover pulled. So as you've seen, this is all completely brand new um, to me. I've put it up exactly how you've seen it come out the come out the box, come out the, the bag. There's the postman or lady. Let's go ahead and put the crossover pulls on. And they're dead straight. There's no curves in them or anything like that. So how am I gonna do this? Break it. Halfway, I would say it's about there. Now, I don't think I'm going to get two poles through there, so I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to do like other people have said, and I'm going to put a little bit of bungee cord on top. Okay, so we've got a bit of bungee cord, my knife, and a lighter. I don't know, I don't think we want much. Probably go with. Let's just tidy that end up so it's... So I think a loop like that would be adequate. Shall we go there then? Yeah, we'll just tidy that end up again. No. Okay, stick that on top. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that, it's all right. Right, let's get the pole through that. Yeah, I know. Not much room in here for said shenanigans. That one down there. Do to the. Can I find it? the end open a little velcro tinky my bottle bend that down and put that in there same on this side Okay. 
So that's basically what it looks like at the moment. I suppose the next step would be to uh, clip up these little toggles. could definitely feel it's putting tension in it. It's a bit, a bit tight, I think. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Wicked. Right, let's just out what the crack is here. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to get get it anywhere near pitch perfect because of the Velcro straps. But uh, anyway, you can see it already. Very happy. And then there's this shenanigans. Ventilation. Yeah, that's good. Very good, especially when guide out. So. And we have it, the Scarp One, the new Scarp One. Yeah, granted, I, okay, I've got to do like what everybody else has got to do and put the additional guidelines on and and the uh, the one for the each side here. But uh, I think it's fab. <laughs> yes. Anyway, people, everybody, thanks again for tuning in to the Black Mountain Adventures Camping Room. Um, if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Give it a like. If you need to know any more information, I'll do my best at what I can. But um, very, very happy. All I need now is to uh, get out in some weather, but it won't be. It doesn't look like that'll be happening, happening until after Christmas anyway. Unfortunately, I'm uh, away with work until the 24th. So, uh, yeah, next time you see me, I'll be in this. Ciao.